a lot of that stuff kind of going on. Gino, they said that it was still raining down there. I don't know. Is this like going to be done today, next it's week, just the weather? I don't yeah, know. it's a slow moving system that's kind of uh, cut off from the jet stream. So just swirling across the southern Ohio River Valley, lots of moisture still coming in from the Gulf. So a lot of impact still being uh, dealt with down to the south. Thankfully, though, at least the in terms of the winds, they have subsided greatly, but now it's more so the flooding risks for other locations, especially up towards Tennessee and Kentucky, as all that moisture has traveled up north. As for us, it's a lot more quiet, and we'll keep the quiet weather, considering it was a pretty wet August. In terms of uh, records, though, tomorrow is September 1st. It's crazy to think that we're almost done with summer. Now, in terms of weather keeping, the uh, in terms of our summer our, should end today. We start fall on September 1st. However, the official start to fall does come later on in September. On September 22nd, autumn equinox at 221 in the afternoon. But it was a wet August. We had a lot of rainfall. We're ending up August as the second wettest August ever with nearly 8.3 inches of rainfall. We have to go back to 1975 to see something anywhere higher, which was the wettest August on record with over nine inches of rain. Today it is dry, it is quiet, and we're going to keep it that way at least for the next few days. 62 outside with a northeast wind at six miles per hour and a drier dew point of 58 degrees in Green Bay. We've got 50, 61 in Fond du Lac, also in Appleton, 69 in Kiwani, 62 in Ephraim, and mid-50s in Mountain, Pembine, and Anago. The winds are going to be coming in light out of the northeast throughout the day today. Right now we see some calm winds to a light breeze, about 3-7 miles per hour, and that wind out of the northeast is going to continue to draw in some of that drier air. And overall picture, as we do head into the next 6-10 to 10 days, does show a near to slightly below average chance of seeing additional rainfall across our area. This area of high pressure right now over Canada is drawing in this dry air and keeping all these storm systems down to the south. We could have a couple little blow off cloud cover from this cluster of storms right now, but right, it doesn't appear to be much of an impact. Here's the remnants of Ida, and you can see plenty of precipitation being drawn in from the Gulf of Mexico, but that system will be slowly turning and eventually moving out of those areas over the coming uh, days. As you do have a quiet conditions here today, you can see how we have some of that blow off cloud cover right now, but then more sunshine later on in the afternoon. So we'll climb up to about 75 today. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will cool off to 56, mostly clear skies. Winds turning light out of the northeast at about 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll get up to 74, mostly sunny skies. Northeast winds 5 to 10. We get it to 74 on Wednesday, 75 on Thursday. A slight chance of a thunderstorm on Friday. Looking like the weekend right now, shaping up to be mostly sunny to partly cloudy and maybe a stray rain shower on Monday for our Labor Day. But overall, a lot of 70s in there. But thank goodness. I feel like we've gotten too much rain this month, right? Uh, with the mosquitoes, I <laughs> totally, totally agree. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gino. Yeah.